Hey, what is going on guys? This is what we'll be creating in today's tutorial. Alright, now that you have an idea of what we'll be creating, let's start this tutorial. Open up your hit film express and from the project settings, I'll choose 1080p at 60 frames per second from the template and then click on start compositing. Now just simply click on this cog icon right here to bring up the composite shot properties. Change the duration to 5 seconds and then click on OK. Let's create a new background layer. Then uh, to do that just simply click on new layer and click on plane. I'm going to set the color to black and I'm just going to rename this to BG. And then click on OK. And uh, also uh, let's create a new text layer. I'm going to set the width to 1920 click on OK select your text tool and type in your text select your text go to the text tab and uh, you can now uh, change the font right here I'm going to use this unisats font and also change this font size and just align the center in the align the text in the center by clicking on this icon now you can select your selection tool and just uh, drag this text below make sure that is properly just in the center now you can just rename this to t1 uh, as text1 and uh, then let's create a new plane layer and uh, I'm gonna rename this to line change the color to white and then click on OK you can just hide this layer by clicking on this icon to hide it select the rectangular mask tool and then Create a shape like this and you can just again click on this icon to unhide that layer so we'll go inside the line layer go inside the mask and the mask you'll have this transform go inside that as well and you have the scale so make sure your playhead is at the first frame of your video and just create a keyframe there now let's break the link between the X and Y value so I'm just going to click on this link icon to break it and then I'm gonna set the scale to 0% and move forward maybe around 25 frames or maybe 20 frames and then set the scale to 100% select both of these keyframes convert these to manual bezier then go into value graph and just drag this handle to the left and you'll have something like this looks pretty nice then we also want to change keyframe the position so double click on your second keyframe to move your playhead at that position we'll create a position keyframe there so just simply click on the or click on this icon uh, to maybe like one second and 20 frames forward and then uh, again uh, just simply change this value or maybe drag it to the drag the shape to the left side of your text like that Again, select both of these two keyframes, convert these to manual bezier, go into value graph and just, just change these uh, handles. And I'm going to bring this to the right, this one to the left, like that. And you'll have something like this. Okay, that looks pretty nice. So I'm going to copy these two keyframes, copy them and uh, maybe I'll start the out animation. So I'm just going to move my playhead at 3 second duration and then again right click and click on paste. So that will paste those keyframes there. But I want to reverse this animation. So uh, to do that is it's really simple. So we want to basically swap these two keyframes. I'm just going to double click here. And I'm just going to bring this one over here. This keyframe right over here this one should be at three seconds so like that now you'll have something like this really nice so uh, after that you just simply click on new layer click on plane and this will be our mask layer I'm gonna change the color to this gray color you simply click on this color to apply it and then click on OK let's zoom out a bit so what you want to do is go inside your line layer, double click on your first position keyframe. Now you just expand your mask plane layer, go inside transform. Now let's, no, let's, let's just copy these two keyframes. 
copy them right click and copy go inside your mask layer in under position right click and click on paste so that will paste those keyframes there now just double click on your first keyframe just change the position we basically want to put this uh, shape on top of that white line this line right here and double click on this keyframe and again change the value and again just put this shape on top of that white line so you'll have something like this now again go inside your line layer copy these two keyframes right now right click and click on copy go into and yeah double click on these this keyframe third one to move your playhead at that position right click on play position and click on paste again double click on this keyframe and just change the position do the same thing just put this shape on top of that white shape double click on this keyframe and again do the same thing so we have something like this <sighs> maybe i shouldn't have done this so i'm just going to undo that I do, we don't need these two keyframes now the next step is to go to the effects tab and search for set mat layer only effect and apply it on your t1 layer expand your set mat set the source layer to mask and uh, set the blend to subtract also let's hide this layer mask layer by clicking on this icon and um, then also you just simply click on inward make sure that this checkbox is ticked and then you will have something like this all right now it's time to duplicate our t1 layer so right click click on duplicate and uh, this is our duplicate layer so i'm just going to rename this to t2 just drag this t2 layer and put it on top of t1 layer expand your line layer go to this keyframe the third keyframe this is when our this uh, line starts to animate uh, so i'm just going to double click on this keyframe to move my playhead there and just simply drag this to t2 layer and put it where the playhead is now we'll create new plane layer name it mask 2 and uh, click on ok and this time we'll do the same thing go inside the line layer copy these two keyframes go inside your mask 2 layer go inside transform position and right click and click on paste double click on this keyframe and uh, just uh, place it on top of that white line double click on this second keyframe again change the position and put it on top of that white line all right now you just you can just click on this eyeball icon to hide it now what you can do is again apply the set matte effect on your t2 layer and also we'll apply a fill color effect on our t2 layer oops uh, just get rid of the first set matte effect we don't need that so in your t2 layer you'll have the set mat and the fill color expand the fill color change the blend amount 100 percent and let's change the color to red and click on ok so in the set mat just expand it and um, you'll have the source layer let's change it to mask 2 set the blend to subtract and let's see if everything is working fine and yeah it does so uh, all you have to do is just enable the motion blur on your line layer and that's all you have to do to create this animation and uh, yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys hope it was helpful if it was please do hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in the next video goodbye